What's up guys, my name is Steven and I'm with Alto Cold Brew and this is Claudia. We're at S3 Coffee Bar in San Diego. Claudia, your shop is beautiful. I, I think it's a gorgeous <laughs> shop, so you guys have been killing it. How long have you been a part of the company? I've been not at this shop, but we started back in 2016 yeah. across the street and then we moved here back in 2020, um, March, three days before the shutdown. Wow, so a rough year, but you guys are killing it. This place is lively and it's blessing and I think that's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. What's your like go-to drink? Okay, so I am a cold brew person okay. because my stomach cannot handle the acidity yeah. of coffee. So I have cold brew any day. Even though it's freezing, I'll just have a cold brew uh, with our homemade almond milk. And yeah. at the end of the day, I'll add a pump of uh, hazelnut or a pump of honey. Yeah, what do you think Think like your customers mostly go for here? They actually go for the aesthetic drink. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. They love our rainbow latte, which is a colorful uh, latte with, um, you know, like latte art and sprinkles on yeah. top. And they, and then we have like everyday customers, they usually get an almond milk latte. That's awesome. That sounds like a lot of fun. Sounds pretty cute. Uh, what's your favorite part about working in the coffee industry? Oh my gosh, the community. Yeah. Like I've never worked in a place where there's so much community and so much involvement. And I feel like I'm actually friends with most of our customers. Yeah. Especially want to come on a daily basis I feel like I know them mm -hmm. you know and that's the best part of it. Yeah I feel like coffee shop owners love providing a space yeah. for their community and for the people to just gather and spend time together and hang out so I, I love that. Yeah the fact that you can make somebody's day by providing them a cup of coffee. Yeah. I know it's simple but you know sometimes yeah. that will make or break somebody's day. Yeah how do you guys brew your cold brew here at S3? Uh, we actually used your Alto cold brew bag so we slow steep it for 24 hours. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Uh, yeah no uh, no less than 24 hours. Yeah. I feel like cold brew is really popular in San Diego. Why do you think that is? I mean, look at the weather, yeah. first of all. And I'm an ice drink kind of person. Yeah. And, um, and yeah, if whenever I have a drip coffee or hot coffee, like my stomach just cannot handle it, yeah. especially on an empty stomach. And I think that cold brew had expanded to um, not just for coffee, we actually use your cold brew bags for teas. We yeah. steep all of our teas, awesome. like our iced teas, with their cold brew bags, the smaller ones actually. Yeah, that's so cool. Do you guys have any, like, any fun cold brew drinks on the menu here? Right now we're doing the pumpkin. So we're uh, doing the pumpkin cold brew with a little bit of the soft top yeah. on top and people love it. What do you view as like being the future of cold brew or what, or what does that look like for you here at S3? Well definitely an expansion because a lot of people think of cold brew and they just automatically think it's coffee. You know cold brew is just a method and I think that people are going to be using it more and more often to uh, brew teas because yeah. I noticed that if we brew teas using the Alto uh, cold brew bags, uh, we have more control over it. That's right. The green yeah. tea doesn't actually turn bitter mm. because we use uh, cold water. Yeah. So, uh, so we love it. There's more control over all our products, not yeah. just coffee. Yeah, it's crazy how much effect just like a, a good filter has on your drink. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Claudia, thank you for having us. We love your shop and I, I just wish you guys the best. If you're in San Diego, you need to check out S3.